Welcome to Fucking Tech. What are we doing this time on Fucking Tech? Well, it's another keyboard project called Low Profile. Not Low Profile, Low Profile. <laughs> Because this project is a failed keyboard project. Now I'm going to explain my journey to this failure. Ugh. All right, so this is a, the base keyboard is a Red Dragon, Red Dragon K589 Shrapnel low profile keyboard. If you look at the uh, keycaps and the switches on the right and the numpad, you can see they're uh, considerably lower than the uh, other switches to the left, except this switch here. It's, it's already pulled out, so don't mind that one right now. Um, So I bought this because uh, I was looking at videos. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you the story, okay? So if you're not ready for story, well, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm telling you a story. So the story begins in the summer of 2019 when I was looking at videos for uh, different stuff, computer stuff. And that's the first time I heard about mechanical keyboards. And it's like, what the hell is a mechanical keyboard? I've used membrane keyboards for the last 30 years or... 33 whatever the hell it is so um i had no idea what that meant what so i looked looked into mechanical keyboards and i said okay i figured um i'll try one i'll get one and, uh, and uh, the guys were saying oh the gamers like the red switches so i got a keyboard with the red switches red switches so the the shrapnel the red dragon shrapnel is low profile red uh, auto move red switches mechanical switches And uh, I realized that I do not like the red switches because I I come from membrane keyboard, so I didn't like the feel. So uh, this keyboard had sample switches that came with it because you can uh, remove the the switches on this keyboard. It's made to be removable. There are other auto move switches with the auto move sockets, so don't put any other brands in there, or else you're gonna. Uh, push in your pins like uh, I did on the uh, here we go the gator on here they have a gator on and the pin, the pins got pushed in when I tried to put it in the auto move sockets so it doesn't work but uh, works fine on the uh, on other boards with the uh, universal kale uh, sockets the kale sockets work fine uh, the round ones you might have um, an issue make sure if uh, they're, they're not auto move anyways only auto move switches fit in the auto move socket so got the keyboard and then i didn't like the red switches because the red switch is like you're pressing it and it's like uh you're just crashing into a wall you're pressing until you're crashing so it's not like a membrane keyboard where you have uh, feedback tactile feedback so there with the sample switches uh, in the keyboard there was a black brown and the blue the clicky blues So I figured, oh, the brown seems nice. I like the I like the tactility of the brown. So I figured, uh, I'll, because this keyboard, you can replace the switches. Well, I'll replace the switches. So I figured I'll buy some uh, auto move low profile browns like the reds. But I could not find any low profile brown switches, auto move brown switches. So that's a fail. So I figured, oh, I'll just buy some regular size auto move browns. And these ones have the, the box stem. So uh, that worked. So I put them in and I said, okay, that's fine. So I got the brown switches. Now I'll replace my keycaps because the standard switches, they looked a little bit silly with the little thin keycap on top that's made for a low profile keyboard. So I got the nice Razer Black Double Shot PBT upgrade set. <laughs> I really love these things. They're very nice. And they feel so great on the browns. And then... Um, Later on, well, I figured, uh, I, I found out because I, I have a recording studio, so I figured I, I want some very silent switches. The browns are not too bad, but uh, because there, there's no clicky sound with the browns. So I got some uh, Automu Silent Skies because I knew they would fit in the Automu sockets. Because I couldn't use any other brands. Like the uh, Zeal PC Silence or anything, uh, or something like that, or the Alias that I wanted to try. So the Silent Sky fit. So all I have here on the keyboard right now is Auto Move Silent Sky switches with the Razer Black PBT, uh, PBT Double Shot uh, keycaps. 
Now, the other obstacle I had was uh, because these are standard size switches, which are they're they're higher. The base the base is higher and the top is higher than the low profile switches. So obviously, when I put the key caps with the regular switch, like a like a shift to enter in the backspace. Well, they wouldn't fit, they wouldn't suck it into the stabilizer because the stabilizer was too low. So I bought some Cherry Original Stabilizers, which are higher. And then my keycaps would fit in it, what actually worked. Because if I put the keycaps and I try to socket them into the low profile stabilizers, they would just stay jammed, um, <laughs> like like pressed, permanently pressed down because the the stabilizers are too short they don't they, they don't go high enough so so that was another obstacle i had and then um the reason this project is called low profile is because after a couple of weeks of having all this installed and function it, it works but the problem is i realized after a couple of weeks that my switches don't actually fit all the way into the sockets because it's a low profile keyboard made for low profile key switches well my switches don't fit all the way down and that's why they were always wobbly and they're not equal uh, so I could push down on one side they go in or the other so it's like it's it doesn't go all the way so um, it's a little bit sucky so I realized well this project is a failure so I need to find another keyboard into which I'm going to put all my Audemu Silent Sky switches with the Razer Black Double Shot PBT keycaps and my uh, Cherry Original Stabilizers. So uh, that's another video called the Silent Phoenix. You're going to see what I'm putting the, that those switches onto. And um, that's how it's, uh, this, this keyboard's a failure. So it, it actually works. It's It still feels great. It's so fantastic. Typing on these Razer keycaps and the auto move silent switches, the 68 grams I got. Oh, it's 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 really good. It's really, really nice to, to, to type on this. So that's my story. Now the, the end game, though I thought my end game would be that. Now my end game, if I can, so I'm gonna rip apart all these things. So actually, I can, <laughs> I I can actually uh, with with the keycap puller, I can hook into this the key switch and actually pull out the key switch. <laughs> so the, so that's how how bad this is. So it's uh, the key switches don't even click into the socket. So that's gonna be easy to rip apart. So all this is gonna be ripped apart. And I'm going to put back in the Automo Flow Profile Red Switches. And this keyboard is going to go back to sucking hard. Uh, <laughs> but it will be used in the, uh, uh, the the Studio Guest PC. So, so that's one thing. Um, now, the end game for this. If I can. Now, this was supposed to be in the end game until I figured I found out that my, so my switches don't fit into the socket. So the end game for this, I'll put it back to uh, stock as it came. And I'm gonna try to find some low profile brown switches. And when I do, I'll switch the whole thing, but uh, O-rings don't work well on these low profile box switches. So that's uh, not a huge deal, but I'll, I'll, I'm still curious to see how it feels with some real low profile brown switches on a low profile keyboard, because I, I like a keyboard that's, that's thin. And low so mechanical keyboards for me it's a brand new thing where it's it's high so i actually need like a uh like a, a wrist rest and stuff and uh, anyways but it's not too bad i like it i like it anyways i like the sun and skies they're fantastic with these uh razor keycaps so so that's my ultimate in game for this but right now i'm sorry my love i'll have to rip you apart now this is a very strange time lapse because it's a time lapse of me taking out these key, key switches and putting in back putting back in the low profile red switches with the low profile keycaps so this is the end <laughs> all right so uh that's my failure that's my yep so goodbye low profile and we're going back to the redragon stock shrapnel
Goodbye, my love. Now, before it goes, I'm going to detail how much this failure costs. <laughs> so, the Red Dragon keyboard, uh, the Shrapnel, the K589, uh, costs $62 Canadian on Amazon. The uh, Automo Brown switches, the box switches uh, the f for the first phase of the, the transition was $80. Around eighty dollars, and um, for phase two, with the Auto Move Silent Sky switches, are just about the same price. Eighty bucks for the Browns or the Silent Skies. Um, Forty dollars for the Razer Double Shot PBT keycap upgrade set. Sixteen dollars for the uh, O-rings that they put under the keycaps. It's the Rosewell RO100T O-ring set with the fifty-eight softness. And I got the original Cherry Stabilizers for $20. The 6.25 U-Kit. That's the size of the space bar. So the total cost of this failure is around $218. However, it's not going to be all lost because keycaps and the switches are all going to go and the uh, stabilizers and the O-rings are all going to go into the Silent Phoenix project. So uh, that's that. So that's the cost of this failure. So goodbye, failure. Fucking tech.com.